ever wondered what is in European Tour winner's Thomas Peters golf bag? Yeah, I have two. Let's do it, and let's do it now. So guys, Thomas Peters golf bag. Now I've just run you through a few things on the bag and interestingly, it has distances on his irons. So let's quickly run through what distances are on the irons, how far they go, and then hopefully we'll get to see him talk us through kind of what this is all about. Game in the Apex Pro irons, last year's model, must not have moved up from these yet. Interestingly, you can see here how we have the distances on each club. Now, this may be something that you guys do at home, but I don't imagine you have 143 written in your 9 iron to be fair. 220 stamped into the 3 iron. Mac Daddy wedges, 58, 56, 52. And also a 48 snuck around the corner there. Let's start with the highest and go down. So 3 iron, 220, that one's stamped on. That is a standard Apex 3 iron. 4 iron, 209, nice and precise. Again, a standard Apex iron. As we get to the 5 iron, he goes Apex Pro, 195 on there, 6 iron, all Apex Pros now from here, 182, good gap in, 7 iron, that's a 169 club for him, down into the 8, 156, I imagine these must be fairly steady numbers, the 9 iron is a 143, these have seen some use, haven't they? These are absolutely battered, to be fair. Moving down into the Mac Daddy Wedge, 48 degree. And we've got orange colouring throughout the Mac Daddy Wedges here. Iron shafts, you're asking? Project X, 6.5. No game in the road, he's not moved up just yet. No. Flash three, five wood. And rogue three wood. What kind of shaft is he gaming in this? We have the Tensai 70 Tor X. The rogue set at nine degrees. Standard loft draw setting. Then we have a Toulon putter with a stroke lab. Look at that, that is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Thomas Peters stroke lab, Toulon putter. So yeah, and just sort me one of these out. <laughs> They're nice, aren't they? That looks absolutely gorgeous. And Bushnell of choice is the Tor X2 in there. Close that up so he doesn't lose it. He'll be able to practice round later, I would imagine. So I just want to talk through the bag, starting with the driver, what you've got in play right now. Okay, um, well I still have my, my trusty Rogue in there, uh, I'm sorry Callaway, but um, it's been helping me massively the last five to six months, uh, it took a while for me to get used to it, but I'm getting a lot of fairways. Um, got the same three wood, uh, the Rogue, and then I've just put in a new five wood for this week, um, the new Epic Flash, because it's nice and high, um, I need some, some soft. I five woods here. Um, have you done any testing with the, drive, the, the new driver at all? I mean, I, what, what's the process like for you in terms of switching drivers? Do you find it easy, hard? Or? Um, for me, it's, it's tough. It's a tough transition because I need. To, it takes me months to get used to it. You know, shot shapes and trusting it. And you know, I, I felt like I finally got used to my road after after a good bit of time. And um, yeah, so I just want to stick with it. I, I played really well down in Australia with Tom and Dietrich and did a lot of fairways and so I thought, you know, I'll, I'll give it a try and actually went a bit further and, and it was faster and everything, but I hit it a long way, um, so those extra four, five, six yards, I don't really need it, 
Um, it's nice to have it, but it's nice to get a lot of fairways as well. Um, then I got, um, I've had the same irons for about two, three years now, I think. Um, the Apex Pro and then wedges um, 934. So. What do you like about the Apex Pro in particular? Um, they're just easier to hit for me. I think, um, you know, I had blades before, but I, I struggled with the long irons, and I've, put, I've even put a three and a four iron of a, not sure what set it is, but it's, it, it's a, like a really, it's a big club, and it's just really easy to hit out of the rough as well. I hit it a, long, uh, a lot of the times out of heavy rough, and I can open the club face a bit and still get a bit of height and, and softness off. And, and the wedges, you, you've gained those for a little while now? Yeah, I went with four wedges last year um, and it's helped me massively just being able to you know, choose different shots, different trajectories and have, have a bit of choice. Do you ever change your wedges, your bounce or, or anything like that, and any of the grinds depending on what course conditions you're playing, yeah. or say if you're at the open or anything? Yeah, yeah, exactly. At the open you get obviously less pounds and, and you know, um, any hard turf. Or, I'll change it. I'll, I won't change it if it's soft or anything, but uh, especially for the open, you get, you get one wedge a year basically for you know maybe Scottish Irish um, for those weeks. Yeah. And could you talk a little bit about the putter? I just got too long with a straight grab in. Could you, you talk a little bit about? Yeah, um, I got it in at the race of Dubai, and um, love the feel. Absolutely love it. You know the weight is it's definitely um, um, from the last putter where it's it's head to toe now evenly weighted um, and uh, it's just a very good looking putter it's got a bit of a different neck to it so um, that's it's really I'm, I'm really happy with it and that was quite easy to you, you felt the gain straight away or the difference in, in performance straight away uh, I've, yeah I've always I've had that um, the triple seven putter with that one for a long time but I've always loved the, just a very traditional putter and um, I'm, I'm, I feel like with this one I'm really good from long distance being able to feel it. Um, so yeah, that's been uh, that's been a big improvement. That putting that Just real quickly, Thomas. You know, with the distances on your iron, mm -hmm. is, is there is that like kind of eighty percent, or are you? No, that's that's a hundred percent. Yeah, that's just a stock shot, basically. Yeah, like, yeah. Can, so for example, my seven iron goes a hundred and. 69 meters. Yeah. That's just a, a that's meters, right? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that makes way more sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's just a normal uh, full seven iron. Yeah. I mean, I can get probably 75, 76 out of yeah, it if yeah. I give it a bit extra. Obviously, here in Dubai, it's going to go five percent further with, with the heat, but um, it's just nice to have, you know. Yeah. Um, I actually saw it, I got it off Lee Westwood yeah. when, his, when his wife was caddying. He, he had to he put it on just because it's easier, and it actually for me speeds up the. The process when yeah. we're getting the distance and my caddy shouts out, you know, 172. I know directly. I mean, I know what the distance is, and it's nice to, mm -hmm. to see this well. visually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, guys at home could learn a lot from that, couldn't they? Yeah, Every day golf. It's just I put it on with a sharpie, and if, if it's five percent further, I wipe it off and I put a, a new number on it. Yeah, thanks a lot, Tom. Yep. Uh, and just uh, some fun questions now, really yep. around the tour. So, firstly, Ashley, stick within the bag. What, what's your favourite club in the bag, and why? I my, my 58. Uh, I chip everything in my 58 one. I love spending time with Bunker. Um, I can spend the whole day in there. And, uh, now, what, what would you consider, uh, or is there one round that you consider to be your best round you've ever played on the European Tour? Uh, well, recently I shot a 64 in, in WGC Shanghai in very, very tough conditions, and it was the best score by four. It was just in the second round, and to me, it stood out because it was really, really tough and I executed every shot almost, almost to perfection and uh, yeah, it's just nice to take confidence from those kind of rounds. Is that, when you when you say execute every shot, is that mental do you think as well or is it a marriage of, of being mentally strong and, and the technique? It is, it's, it's about not worrying about what's over there and just doing your, your movement and your swing that you want to do. If you want to hit a jaw, you do a jaw movement. And it's it's when you start worrying about water or you know not not feeling comfortable. That's when you when you get that shot. What would you say the best course is on the European tour that you play? Uh, I've always had a you know a big liking for Abu Dhabi just because it's a it's a really tough driving course. Um, maybe not the prettiest, but it's a, it's a really tough course. I think you know, I love it. A good tough course. Yeah. Um, apart from take the open out of the equation, um, what's the best atmosphere? What tournament has the best atmosphere? 
Well, it has to be uh, the PGA at Wentworth. Um, I think the, the crowds there are very respectful and in, uh, in big numbers as well. And is, do you have a shot, one particular shot that you're most proud of on tour, on European tour, that you can think back on? Um, I think my, when I had my first victory, um, just a shot in the last. Um, you never know if you can, you can do it um, as a young golfer and then to hit a, a nice shot at the right moment, it's always, it's always going to stick with me. And do you have a best friend or friends uh, on tour? Oh, the other two Belgians are, are two of my, my really good friends on tour. Should, you ever, should your caddy ever be your best friend? Uh, he's, he's, he's also in my top four of, uh, of best friends. Yeah. <laughs> you better put that in. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for your time. No worries. Yeah, have a good week. Thanks. So guys, that was a real quick what's in the bag with Thomas Peters' golf bag. Comment below, does your 99 go 143? See you soon.